Guys, y'all are beautiful. We're at the South Texas Film Festival. Jonathan, my gosh. Miss Martinez. Miss Martinez. Miss J. I was going to say J. Okay. And then, of course, we have Brenda over here. Guys, what are y'all doing making Texas cooler? Do you? I mean, how is that possible, guys? Talk to me, brother. You're one of the founding members. How, how do you feel today in this moment? I feel great. Um, it feels great to be here out again after COVID. Everybody's getting their vaccination, so it's good to be meeting up again. But uh, our thought was always, uh, Valley was always a cool place to be, especially for filmmakers, but it was, uh, everybody's a little bit separated, so we wanted to come up with an event where we could all get together and just enjoy each other, celebrate our films, and uh, hopefully invite some people from outside of the area to come down and see what's going on here. Now you say that real cool, but this is a big thing, man. People really like they go and put their hopes and their dreams into the projects that they put together, and y'all are making that come to life. So that's super cool. How many years you been doing this for now, man? Oof, man, since seven years. Yeah, this is the the is upcoming one is going to be the seventh. Seven. Yeah, seven years now. It's been you know it grew really fast. It came together really quickly because the team at the uh, Edinburgh Library, the Dustin Michael Secular Memorial Library has done an amazing job. They put it together in a great way, so it's been sustainable. And uh, we've been given a lot of opportunities um, from the local, um, our local partners, filmmakers, and other people who have been sponsoring. So we've been super lucky. Wow, what a blessing, man. You're so humble about it too, man. That's, it's actually like such a big thing for so many people. Um, out of curiosity, folks, I mean, I gotta ask all of y'all, but for yourself, Jonathan, yeah. what's your favorite movie, man? Oof. Uh, <laughs> Romeo plus Juliet. <laughs> I, I know it's like, a, it's, you know, there's a lot of other great um, films that are made by these like iconic filmmakers that maybe other filmmakers might say. But that's the film I always go back to. I watch it over and over again, maybe because I'm a little bit of a romantic and I'm a theater kid. And I just love that sort of grungy 90s style. You think about like, like, like Claire Danes, Leonardo DiCaprio, and of course my favorite, oh my gosh, Chris Rock just tore it up in that like, like if you all he stole the show if you guys don't know what he's talking about it's some beautiful cinematic master yeah great film great film okay, excuse me I'm getting, a, I'm getting a buzz here from one of our listeners out there excuse me I'm not allowed to proceed are you a Montague or a Capulet I'd say Montague because with uh, John Leguizamo and all that there's more Latinos on that side of the family so I, I guess I gotta go with Montague but you look Italian <laughs> well, the, I think the father was pretty much Italian. He was doing Italian accent the whole time, so I don't know. Judges agree. Very good. Welcome to the family, he says. How about yourself, Miss Martinez? Favorite, favorite film? Ooh, that's a tough one. I have a lot of favorite films. You can only take one on the island. I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, I really can't tell you a favorite one. I have so many. You have so many? That's okay. It's okay. I love films. I love watching films, so... Awesome, awesome. And what have you learned in the process? What have you enjoyed most during this whole thing? From our festival? Yeah. Um, I'd have to say just networking and meeting so many uh, filmmakers from the RGV and from outside. Because we have a lot of people that come in from all over, from yeah. Japan, from Germany, uh, from Mexico. So it's been wonderful to get to know so many filmmakers and get to hear about their process and how they do everything so that I think that's the, the best part and then also being able to offer our local RGB filmmakers something where they can show off their work now I, I gotta ask all three of you all something too but yourself Miss Brenda favorite movie I'm going to go outside of everyone's expectations, but I absolutely love Ready Player One. If you haven't seen it, it was really downplayed. So the reason why I love it, it's, it's Steven Spielberg, and I think he does a phenomenal job of really creating that virtual reality that I think that we're going to live in in the future. I'm all about sci-fi, futuristic type stuff. And so that to me was just the epitome of like, that's where we're going. And it's going to be where we are living in a virtual reality instead of actually living our real lives, per se. So if you haven't seen it, Ready Player One, definitely go out and watch it. Which are you, sir? Are you the actor? Are you the director? Are you the producer? What do you enjoy most? Um, up, in, up until recently, acting was my thing. I love acting, uh, participating in student films and theater and a bunch of other things. Uh, more recently, I've been into writing. I love writing, um, but I can't call myself a writer yet because uh, I've only ever done small things, and I feel like 
I'm on the verge of, of um, animating an actual short film that I wrote. Coen Brothers so. style? Nice. <laughs> so I'm, I've been into animation because I do motion graphics and stuff for cool. work. But, um, but I would say up until now I've been an actor and I'll probably go back to it someday. We'll see. And yourself, Ms. Martinez? Actor, writer, director, producer? I'd say more of the producer and director part. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So, yeah. Now, now, now for those out there who don't know, producers like... That's like boss lady slash run the show slash humble slash don't mess with me if I haven't had my coffee, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Ask the guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that, that is me. <laughs> well, well, not, nothing happens without the producers. So. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I definitely cannot. Well, I can act a little bit, but no, I'm not anywhere close to Jonathan. Um, and as far as writing, yeah, I'm not. I'm I write, but no, not not like a script. You know, no. Not good. <laughs> Everything's so crucial and so important. And yourself, Ms. Brenda, what's your uh, what's your favorite uh, little piece of the puzzle? What do you enjoy most? Um, in all honesty, I, I barely got into the acting part of it. For the most part, I really like, you know, throwing the festival out there. I really like the marketing part about it and getting, you know, it more visually out there for the people to see. There's so many people here in South Texas that still don't know that the festival is here in their own backyard. So getting us out there really speaks to me more. But yeah, definitely acting just got into that. So I, I think I think it's so awesome what you're saying though because I think most people don't realize they think it's just you make a movie and you made a movie. Yeah. It's like no dude, that's half the battle. We made the movie, now we gotta get it to everybody out there. So beautiful, guys. I share the passion with y'all. So cool. Uh, where's everything going? How can people, um, you know, get in touch with y'all and get involved in the project? Yeah, um, you can um, follow us on social media, Facebook and all, all that. Or you can go to our website, which is stxiff.com. Um, and also, if you're interested in submitting or finding out more about the details about the actual film competition and the prizes and all that, you can go to filmfreeway.com and uh, look for us, filmfreeway.com slash stxiff piece of advice you give to somebody who wants to get into the biz? I would say attend as many events as possible, networking events, mixers, whatever you can attend as far as uh, our festival or any other festival here, uh, because that's what's going to get you, the networking and getting to know others in the industry is what's going to get you in the doors. Piece of advice, Ms. Brenda, for those out there in listener land? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There are so many filmmakers out there, filmmakers, actors, producers, writers, that are kind of shy, that don't want to really come forward and say, hey, I want to know more about the film festival or what is it that you guys do? I want to volunteer. So definitely don't be shy. Reach out to us, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or whether you just you know, go to our uh, website. There's plenty of information there at stxiff.com. And you can definitely just reach out to us and come and meet us. Come to the networking events and be a part of the film festival. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gordito on the go. Omar Rodriguez with the FN News and the FN Sunny Show here with Mr. Henry Serrato. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of sweating it out here, but it's all here for a good cause. Hey, you know what? And what cause is that today, sir? Well, I'm here attending the food truck festival here and I'm here to support the South Texas International Film Festival but I'm with another film festival and we're all uh, for the same cause of independent film in the Rio Grande Valley so I'm here to show my support to, for them. And what film festival are you with sir? I'm with the Cine Soul Film Festival. Wow, how did, how did that start? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, this is going to be our 29th year. Uh, it was started in 92, 93 around there at South Padre Island and it was started by Evi Ledesma Galan and Lupi, Lupita Gutierrez Garza and it started at the island and it's been in the island, it's been in Brownsville, it's been in Harlingen, it's been in Edinburgh, it's been in McAllen and the past couple of years we've, we've taken it back to the island for, we went back to the island for our 25th anniversary so wow. we've been there ever since. So, so I mean, what is the uh, what is the what is the goal and the purpose of this uh, film festival you all have passion for? Uh, the, the film festivals in general is just about exposing the film, uh, exposing inter independent film to people in the Rio Grande Valley. So, we show independent films, documentaries, shorts, um, animations. We have workshops on stunt fighting, composing music, how to raise mo money for your film. We have guest speakers. We have guest stars. I mean, we just want to bring arts and culture to the Rio Grande Valley. That is super cool. How can people get involved with uh, your project and and, uh, and and get themselves out there? We have a Facebook 
We have a Twitter and we have a website, CineSoul.com. You can find us on CineSoul Film Festival on Facebook, CineSoul uh, Film Festival on Twitter, and we have a film race. So, I mean, we're a film festival, so for those that are interested in making film, they can submit their films to us. But if you like watching film, I mean, if you like going to the theater and watching film, there's a lot of independent films that you normally won't see in the theater, and that's what we're about. We want to show great film, which uh, the up-and-coming filmmakers, the, film make, the films that you're going to see here at a film festival are the next Robert Rodriguez, they're the next Quentin Tarantinos, they're the next S Steven Spielberg. They're, these are the up-and-comers, and it's good to show the support now before they forget who you are when they're in Hollywood, you know? Hopefully they never forget, right? Because right, right. it's the people that keep everything rolling. But uh, sir, what advice do you give to people um, who are looking to get into the industry as well? Uh, it's it's all about practice and networking. You need, you need to come to an event like this. You need to go to a film festival. It's all a, it's a big part of. To me, a film festival is two parts. One is watching the films, and the other part is networking. Because uh, when you go to a film festival, it's attended by peers. It's attended by people who like making films or watching films just like you so if you're interested in making a film or directing a film writing a film you go to a film festival and you meet other people there and from there another team or another great film can come of that networking opportunity what's your favorite movie henry oh man i i, I it's like picking your favorite child i can't just pick my favorite one you know i'm from the 90s so I, you know i like robert rodriguez i like kevin smith i like quentin tarantino that's that's my generation sorry oh yeah yeah, yeah. i got you i got yeah. you so uh but between tarantino and smith if you had to only pop one in would it be pulp fiction or would it be uh chasing amy Chasing Amy? What of all the films that you pick of Kevin Smith, you have to go with Chasing Amy? No, Pulp Fiction, man. Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Yes, sir. Hey, but Chasing Amy, hey, it had the bottom line undertones of his entire perspective, man. Sure. It's very Where artsy film. Very artsy film. Where does he get all these wonderful toys? Is what I want yeah. to know. Oh, I love it. Good stuff. Lonnie Guerrero, good sir, committee chairman, film enthusiast. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing very good. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, I joined the film festival about five years ago because I'm a movie buff. I love all that stuff. Uh, just trying to get the people, anybody from Edinburgh, the Valley, to kind of show Edinburgh what we can do and promote these guys so they can go to Hollywood or New York or whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? We really enjoy that, getting people together. Now, now you're, you play an intricate part in the, in the community. You do the things that you do. And then now you give back. You're helping out, man. Dude. Where do you find the time? What do you enjoy so much about this project? What do, what do you like to do in this, bro? What I like to do this is get the uh, anybody who wants to be an inspiring filmmaker, actor, producer, director, anything to kind of say, hey, man, the talent is down here, and we have talent to kind of, you know, rival anybody in, in the world, in my view. In our, in, in our film festival we have, we attract world people from Japan, China, Argentina, Spain, you know, uh, Portugal, and they come here and they say this is one of the best film festivals they've ever attended because of the way we treat them, hospitality, Edinburgh is a friendly city. And to me, I just want to get out of it. I just want to just promote the city of Edinburgh and the film festival because I'm a movie buff. I like all types of movies. So. Awesome. Bro. Hey, one movie. You can only watch one movie. What movie is it? The Big Blue. The Big Blue. And what's the, what's the scene that does it for you? It's the swimming and diving. About, uh, it's, uh, there's people who do uh, diving. They go like 400 feet. They hold their breath for like 10, 12 minutes. You know, it's called Free Diving. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's by, by Luke Benson. Check it out. It's an older movie from the, uh, I think, 80s, right? Or, yes. or 90s. It's called The Big 80s. Blue. So that, that is love that, man. It's just the scenery of the ocean, the camaraderie of the competition, the way people are, their respect and stuff like that. San Diego, tell us, man, what do you think about the, the film festival, everything that's going on, man? Uh, this is great. I've, this is my fifth year attending the festival uh, since I moved back. Actually, I learned about it before I moved back. I, I lived in Dallas for 25 years and did mini movies, is what I call them. Uh, advertising. I did commercials. <laughs> but everything that goes into making a movie goes into making a commercial. So, like I said, mini movies. But I wanted to continue that here and, and find talented people that have the same vision and idea. And, and I found it here. I mean, as Lonnie said, you can find people from around the world, but you'll find a wealth of talent here in the Valley alone. From directors, producers, editors, to actors. Um, actors, as they say, are a dime a dozen. But to find the true talent, the people behind the camera, uh, this is where you come. And you can find them here in the valley and around the world. Super awesome. Favorite movie? What, what's it going to be, Bo? Oh, I'm, I'm easy. I'm um, commercial. Star Wars. I, I grew up on that. I'm still a fan. Uh, Star Wars will be... I can watch that over and over till the day I die. I watch it at least once a month, so I've seen it in the hundreds. Now, you can only watch one Star Wars. Is it New Hope? 
<laughs> is it Return of the Jedi? Is it Empire Strikes Back? Uh, I think I'd stay with the original New Hope. Definitely. That was the. I was six when I saw that. And I forgave him because I'm a Star Trek <laughs> right, fan. Yeah. But it's okay. We all get along. <laughs> My gosh, Abel, you are so talented. And for those folks who know you, they appreciate and love you, bro. How you doing, brother? Good. I'm good. So we're here at the Mixer for a South Texas Independent Film Festival. South Texas Independent Film Festival was very special to me. They gave me my first shot. They gave me the opportunity to write my first, first short film, put it out there. I won some awards, and it's snowballed ever since. We're working on three feature films that we're going to take to California November the 2nd. Awesome. We're going to try to get those sold. It's, we're using primarily Valley Talent. We're taking one called The Forest of Toys, one called Lechusa, one that you know, Lucha Libre Presents, yes. which you are the voice of the, uh, oh, the, voice the, the, of the bad the guy in the closing guy. credits. We're still, be, stay tuned. <laughs> and um, the new thing, you guys can follow us. My name is Abel Gonzalez on um, Facebook. But Iron Sights is a graphic novel that's distributed nationwide. Uh, we've attained the movie rights, and we're going to shoot a pilot for a series in September. So be on the lookout for auditions. Now, super cool. Now, the team the team that you have involved in that uh, graphic novel project also helped um, create and bring to life the graphic novel for The Expendables, you were telling me. So, like, the same kind of, like, structure and concept, military style, yeah. hard action. Uh, and then you, you have great cinematography. I'm excited, bro. That means, and when, when do you see this uh, project uh, coming to life, bro? September. The first week of September, we want to start shooting. We got some actors. We've reached out to some actors from the Valley that are working in LA. Nice. Some Texas actors that have credits that have been on Netflix, HBO. So ultimately, when you make a project like this, they want to know who's in it and where, what do they bring to the table. So I kind of tell people, it's the chicken and the egg concept. You can't make anything without money and you can't make money without making anything. So yep. we've been hustling, we've been grinding for five years, and hopefully this is our year to break through. Heck yeah, man. I know, I, I think that it's interesting when you say that. Um, I know I've talked to so many people in the biz over the last five, ten years, and when somebody gets a break, it's always so funny because they always say, like, overnight success. And I always think to myself, I'm like, you know, none of us yeah. ever just made it. Like, it was always, like, everybody kind of, like, worked so hard when you see people make it. And then to stay there is so hard man so much love man. i've seen you grind i love all the stuff you do bro I, I hope to see you succeed in everything bro what do you what do you see next man and what you got going on and what the film festival is doing for folks the film festival is going to be awesome because they're going to what they're going to try to do this year is get the people in the know about distribution and financing to get these challenged filmmakers and actors and comedians <laughs> give them a shot you know because there's a lot of talent down here and I was just talking to Pepe, he's with the film festival, and is that we have this stigma on ourselves that we don't measure up to other places. You know, that, that we're not good enough. And a lot of that is our family members saying, oh, get a real job, that stuff's not gonna pay the bills. But if, it, if you believe it, you can achieve it.